Love this view of Cheat Hunt. Check it out. We'll get a ride on that probably tonight. And it is the Penguin Point. We're gonna walk through now. The lights aren't on uh, for Penguin Point. I was here the other night and they were, but we're walking through. Check it out, they have an awesome photo opportunity right here. You can actually sit in Santa's sleigh. Here it is. Definitely a great photo opportunity for your family. For Christmas Town, it seems as if the train becomes the Christmas Town sing-along train. Christmas trees, presents, plenty of presents for everybody. It's all here in the North Pole. And colorful peppermint swirl lollipops. Mmm, yum. Despicable Me Minions holding peppermints. You can actually win one, and if we go right down here, it just costs $5 to play this game. I really like the decorations over here. Plenty of lights. Looks great. If you look at these toy blocks right here, it actually spells Merry Christmas, but I believe it goes like Merry Christmas. Yeah, so it's like going across. And they have Santa's house here. Here's the great thing about it. Here at Busch Gardens, Tampa, you don't actually have to wait in line. You can pick up a pager to come back and meet Santa. And of course, you can pick it up right over here at this booth. Once again, Santa's visit, check in right here. They do have a pager range, so you can only be, like I think you have to be in a certain area of the park, but you definitely don't have to be waiting in line so you can go enjoy many of the park's other attractions while you actually save your spot in line. Santa's house is presented by Coca-Cola. Check it out, they have a Coca-Cola ornament right here. You can get your photo with it. They actually have two of the ornaments with the Coca-Cola logo on it. And here is the sign for Santa's house. Now it is about a 15 minute wait, or was a 15 minute wait when we got in line. They are not distributing pagers at the moment, so because the line is so short, we decided to get in line. We're about to head in. We're gonna see Mrs. Claus, of course Santa Claus, and some of the else. Oh, Mrs. Claus will welcome us. Oh, she's so nice. What in the world? Merry Christmas! Whoa, Hello! Hello! Hello. Hello. Merry Hi. Christmas! I'm inside. Hello! How are you guys doing? Pretty good. <laughs> all excited to see Santa? Oh, yeah. Oh wow, they have the Christmas tree. Not sponsored. You guys really uh, decked the halls. Yes, we did. Here is a tree of a bunch of uh, postcards that Santa has received. Check it out, the Coca-Cola tree. All of the ornaments are Coca-Cola themed. Check that out, we have Diet Coke, Coke, all kinds of different things. Even like one of these, um, things of like a six pack of Coke. This is so cool. They even have like a Coca-Cola kitchen. This is so nice. Now we walk through this uh, hall right here and I believe we will now see Santa. Oh, the elf, one of the elves is uh, leading the way. More Coca-Cola. Oh, and then the, the um, polar bears. More Coca-Cola. I love this. Hi, yes, I'm with them. This is so cool. <laughs> I love the Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Coca-Cola Christmas. Yeah, oh! <laughs> this is like a Coca-Cola train, so what they do is they, they load up the Cokes inside the little train. That's so That is ready for delivery. A real one? All right, here we go. Oh, check it out, Santa. <laughs> Bye Santa! Merry Christmas! And this is where you actually can buy your photo and they do actually allow you to film inside the room, that's nice. Here's a photo of, or a poster of Santa enjoying a Coke. Coca-Cola actually does a lot of advertising during Christmas and they do feature Santa in a lot of their advertisements. That was awesome, like super cool. And so if you guys didn't hear when I met Santa, uh, I told him I wanted two things, uh, I guess for 2018 or for Christmas, and that is to be happy and healthy. Like those are the two main things. Uh, like I don't really need any actual material. I think I have everything I need. I just want to be happy and healthy. They even have like cookies and uh, 
They're giving them out here after you meet yeah. Santa. Also, the SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment napkins are actually in a uh, have a Coke machine. Looks like, yeah, very cool. Oh yeah. And if you purchase a photo here, it comes with a frame. We are now going to check out the Christmas trail that they have here at Bush Gardens. We're also going to get some hot chocolate and some donuts, try some other treats, maybe watch a few more shows, and get on a bunch of rides. Check out that view of Shigra with the palm trees. Check it out, they have Bush Gardens Christmas Town hats here. We're now going to walk over to the trail, which is over this way. Here's one more view of Santa's sleigh. It looks like a zebra is actually in front of it rather than a reindeer. And it looks like throughout the park we have snowflakes projected onto the pathways. Check that out. Changing colors of lights in front of Cheetah Hunt. And they also have like patterns of designs as you walk under. This is very cool. Like I was not expecting it to be like this, but wow. And that was Penguin Point. The Christmas decorations over by the Moroccan Palace are very vibrant, mostly blue and white colors. Holiday Hills look spectacular when it's all lit up at night. Wow, we're gonna head in. Check out these lights along the fence as you walk into Holiday Hills. This is probably one of the most themed areas or Christmas themed areas throughout Christmas Town. We're about to actually walk uh, over to the trail where we'll have the best you know, Christmas decorations. Check it out, we have those Coca-Cola photo opportunities. Great way to you know, get a picture with the family, friends, whoever you're here to park with. So I'm actually seeing um, a lot of decorations with Coca-Cola on it. Like, that's a pretty big sponsor for Christmas Town. But the Coca-Cola sponsorship definitely isn't right in your face. If you look at this large Santa Claus, he is holding a Coca-Cola bottle, but it's not like, you know, it's not big. Check it out, it's Gwazi in low light. And we're about to enter an area where we're going to see a majority of the Christmas decorations. I always find it interesting, Gwazi has closed, but the games around here still go by the name Gwazi. We have Gwazi Climb, I believe they also have Gwazi Soccer. So even though Gwazi is closed, many of the attractions or games still use the name. It's actually snowing. Awesome. So here's a look at the guide and show you guys what we've done so far. Uh, so we've been to Santa's house. We haven't really explored Rudolph's Winter Wonderland a whole lot. Uh, Jungle, uh, Jibble, I believe it's pronounced, or Jiblil, I don't know. Haven't really explored that. We did see Christmas on Ice, and then coming around here, looks like these are the rest of the things that we need to do. Oh, check it out, the snow is beginning to stick. Maybe we won't have school tomorrow. The Christmas Town Village looks great. This is where most of the lighting is. We'll also be able to get some hot chocolate, some donuts, it's gonna be good. Savior, did 
distant lands to tell you our story. We have seen a star, which according to our ancient scholars and calculations, tells of the birth of a new king. Yes, a king for all kings, a messiah. My name is Melchior. I am a king from Arabia. I bring gold as a gift fit for royalty, very rare and precious. And I am Caspar, a king from Tarsus. I bring frankincense, a gift that is very expensive and rare incense. I am Balthazar, a king from Sabah, now known as Yemen. Mine is myrrh. Since this bitter oil and perfume is used as an embalming ointment, it foretells that the Christ child will one day die for the world. My gift will say, you will be my savior. We three kings of Orient are, bearing gifts we travel so far. Field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, was born to shatter the darkness, and Jesus is the light. It's now time to enter the Christmas Town Village. Yeah, with the Waz. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna walk through here, and this is essentially where I believe I'll be able to get hot chocolate, mini donuts. They're very good. Uh, we'll see what else they have, like they're offering during Christmas Town. But I know they have a lot here. We're gonna check it out. Let it glow. Let it glow. Let it glow. Get all your glow items right here. Oh my gosh, they have a master chocolatier here. You can get your chocolate. Look at that. I'd definitely be devouring all of the chocolate, but we have some other things to do. Looks like these are all of the candies on display here at this candy hut. And so what's great about uh, Busch Gardens and even SeaWorld is they actually display the items. So uh, you can actually get pictures and stuff here. And I'm gonna turn on my flash. Check it out. And I found what I was looking for, the donuts stand. Here it is. Looks like they also sell hot sandwiches here. They even have gingerbread cookies here. Thumbs up this video for gingerbread cookies. You can also get your holiday beverages over here. Uh, eggnog, you know, all sorts of different things. And you can also get holiday cookies. Now you will need a sampler, right? You, I mean, you can get a sampler. You don't necessarily need one. Here's Guazi, obviously not in operation, but Looks like they attached some lights onto Gwazi. That's interesting. And over here, it looks like we have some nice decorations, uh, some reindeer, pretty cool. Here's a Merry Christmas photo opportunity here. One of the best ones here in the park. And it has the Busch Gardens Christmas Town logo down there. Look at all of those lights. Awesome. Check this out, we have a train on display, several of them. Very, very cool. Very large display. They actually also have this uh, same type of display at SeaWorld Orlando for their Christmas celebration. And over here, we have an area called Jingle Bell Junction. Check out this view of Shikra and Falcon's Fury. Looking nice. Wow.
I actually kind of hope that they keep Guazi up because it really does provide for an excellent view uh, during any of the festivals, during the Food and Wine Festival, of course during the uh, Christmas Town, you know, everything that's pretty much offered in this area. And we're now going to check out the Jingle Bell Junction. So what it is, is it's actually a ride. And I did not know it was a ride, but it's a train ride. As you guys can see, it's trackless, so no track for the train. But it essentially does loops around this area. You have some Christmas trees, projected snowflakes, uh, lighting music. It all comes together very nicely. And it is generally for the children. However, adults can also ride in the train. And in case you guys were wondering, there is no additional cost associated with this train ride. I've never seen a theme park do this before, so, you know, Busch Gardens gets very creative and innovative with their different um, options for the holiday season. This is very nice, like I would have never thought that they would have done this, so very cool. And on the handrails we have a message saying, or informing guests, to please do not reach over or sit on the walls. That is of course because we have that train operating around this area. And it looks like the back entrance actually leads to another area of the park we already checked out. And yeah, looks nice. If you actually exit the area, this is the view right here. That's the Christmas tree I showed you guys earlier photo opportunity right there. We are now heading back into the Christmas Town Village in order to get some hot chocolate or hot cocoa rather. We'll also get some of those mini donuts and check out everything that we did not check out. Here's another one of those photo ops here at the park. Uh, many of them look very similar in the sense that you have that Busch Gardens Christmas Town little icon right there. Uh, but anyways, very cool. So I'm actually going to skip meeting Frosty uh, due to the fact that there is a line and uh, I don't have a whole lot of time right now, but maybe next time. I'm looking now at the menu for the donuts. They have many different options. And of course we will be trying probably, uh, I would say a half dozen. And here are the donuts that are on display. Now they actually have five totals, so if you get a half dozen, you will be able to choose uh, which so select donut you'd want uh, two of. And this is what I did. I actually did two of the Oreo. Alrighty guys, well I got my mini donuts right here and I also got my hot cocoa in the special Busch Gardens Christmas Town souvenir mug. Check it out, they put whipped cream on there as well. And so uh, about six bucks, not, not a lot at all. You get 99 cent refills throughout the night um, and you can bring it back you know, year after year. And then it looks like right here we got you know, the six donuts. So I'm gonna get a couple of photos real quick before I actually try it and review it. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to purchase uh, the souvenir cup. You can just get it in a regular, you know, cup. But I decided to go with the souvenir cup. I definitely want to uh, keep that. By the way, here's one of the Snapchat Geo filters for Busch Gardens Christmas Town. And here's another one of them, Snapchat Geo filters. So in total, they do have two. I will now be explaining each of the five different donuts that you can get. I have six pictured right here, and two of them are actually the same. So these two are white icing and Oreo crumbs. Moving over here, we have strawberry icing and Fruit Loops. And then uh, we actually have one over here, white icing and uh, Christmas sprinkles. That's the one with the red, white, and green sprinkles. And then we have two red velvet ones, and those are kind of across from each other right there. Now one of them is red velvet, or a red velvet donut with maple icing and bacon, and the other one is a red velvet donut with white icing and Heath Bar Crunch. Those are the five, and of course, again, if you do half a dozen, you actually get to uh, choose you know, which donut you want two of. I thought I'd probably like the white icing and Oreo crumbs the best, but let's try each of them. We're gonna start with the Oreo, and I actually have two of those, so should be good. Here it is right here. Let's try it. Mm. Hmm. Pretty good. Just like a regular donut with um, like crumbled up Oreos on top. And now I will be trying strawberry icing and Fruit Loops. And here it is. Looks pretty good. Here we go. 
It's not bad. It's pretty good. I kind of like the Fruit Loop texture to it, but I think I like the Oreo one better than that. I mean, they're still very good. And now I will be trying the white icing and Christmas sprinkles one. And here it is. Let's try it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That one's better than both the Oreo and the uh, Fruit Loops. Wow. I really like that one. I should have actually did double of that one. And now it's time for the red velvet ones. First we'll be trying the bacon and then the Heath bar. Alrighty, here is the bacon. I don't know if I've ever put bacon on a donut, but, or have had bacon on a donut. All right, let's do this. My taste, my taste buds don't know what to think. It's too much, it's like, it's a lot of different things that I've never really had at the same time before. So the red velvet is like, it's very much so like, stands out like you taste the red velvet right away and the bacon has a kick to it it's actually pretty good but i don't know i think i think it's still taking me a second to like kind of uh, understand what it is and now we're trying the red velvet with heath bar on it i've never really had heath bar so i guess we'll see if i like this not bad definitely not bad i kind of like that and now I can enjoy a delicious hot cocoa. So what did I think of the donuts or the mini donuts overall? They were great. I really like the mini donuts. Uh, if you are here during Christmas Town, you gotta you gotta try at least one. Or uh, I think you have to order three. Yeah, the least you can get is three. But try them. They're actually very good. And I haven't actually had a chance to try the hot cocoa yet. I think I'm like gonna wait for it to cool down. We are now going to go off to some rides, and of course I will have some of the hot cocoa on the way. And I pretty much checked everything out in the Christmas Town Village. Now we're gonna do some rides. And just to kind of give you guys a perspective of where everything is, you have Santa's house. We didn't really get a chance to check out Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. There's a meet and greet for Rudolph, but I did actually check that out in another video. During Hollow Scream, their hashtag was nowhere to hide, but during their Christmas Town celebration event, the hashtag is Deck the Gardens. And right across from that Coca Cola billboard with Santa on it, we actually have the reindeer and Santa at night. As we head over to Cobra's Curse and Cheetah Hunt, they actually have nutcrackers over here holding up signs for Christmas Town. I am now in the line for Cheetah Hunt. I'm gonna ride it at night. And there's totally no line.
<laughs> yeah. That ride never gets old. I love cheetah hunts. Wow, check it out. We have a very nice light show on the Serengeti Overlook. By the way guys, some of the projections are actually coming from the top of the cheetah hunt uh, line right there. Turning around. Wow! So amazing. Huh. Wonder if it's over now. They just had the Bush Gardens logo over there. Now they have the Christmas Town logo being displayed. And I do believe that the show is now over. And they do, uh, they must have the show during the select times. But it is now over. And Cheetah Hunt is now closed. It did have a 10 minute wait when I got in line for it. And I'll do a zoom in over here on the sign. Over here by the main entrance for Cheetah Hunt. They actually have a test seat that guests can sit in and make sure that they are able to ride or at least, you know, see if they're able to ride. All they have to do is pull down on the restraint. There is a control panel that happens to be next to the seat and uh, will display a light. If it lights up green, that means that the rider is able uh, to ride the attraction given that they are, you know, they fit in the attraction. Of course, there are other many factors that will determine whether you are able to ride or whether you should ride. Here's something that the typical guest might not notice at Cheetah Hunt. Looks like the head of the car actually uh, looks like a cheetah. So you'd have the eye of the cheetah right there. And so this is like kind of the face and the nose is like right here. I just wanted to kind of give a uh, demonstration on how the control panel works and how the test seat works. So if you are seated in the seat, you know, you can pull down on this restraint right here. Now looking at the control panel, the red light would switch to green as soon as the uh, seat detects that, you know, the uh, restraint is fully secured and they'd be ready for dispatch. And so in order to now release a restraint, you'd have to actually hold on this button right here. Uh, actually this button. And so you'd hold and then you'd uh, pull up the restraint. It's actually pretty neat. So I'm glad that they have this here on display. Very cool. A closer look at the control panel, of course. Now the first uh, up there in green is restraint open. Going down, uh, shoulder open in red. That just means that the restraint is open. It cannot be, you know, dispatched. The train cannot be dispatched. And then uh, green means shoulder 
uh, bar closed, that means that it is fully secured. And so, yeah, very interesting. Now the light at the top, not entirely sure what that means. That light at the top might just mean that the control panel is on. Uh, when you push on it, it doesn't actually, I mean, it's not a button, so, yeah. And whether the restraint is open or closed, that light r does remain vibrant at the top right there. And one more view of lowering the restraint and green coming on. Cheetah Hunt is now closed, just like the rest of the park. Doing a turnaround right here. As you guys can see, not many guests around. It is now time to leave a Bush Gardens, Tampa. I had an excellent time today. Love Christmas Town. I will be sure to be back. I need, I feel like I need to come back and do like a full comprehensive uh, review and video on Christmas Town. I kind of showed you guys many of the experiences, but not all of them, so I need to come back. I really like the street over by Cheetah Hunt. Looks great. And here is the launch for Cheetah Hunt. And one last view of Cheetah Hunt with the Christmas tree. I know I showed this earlier, but one of the many photo opportunities here at Busch Gardens Christmas Town. Uh, this is actually uh, one of the ones closer to the main entrance to the park. And I really like the fact that you have the Christmas trees all lit up in the background. Alrighty guys, well thank you so much for watching. I end here with the Wads. And so uh, I really enjoyed meeting them today here at Bush Gardens for Christmas Town. We had a great time. Oh, we rode great. some attractions. Yeah, so we really, much fun. so much fun. Yeah, we really enjoyed it, and uh, you know, excellent experience. So definitely check them out. I'll put a link uh, for their video in this description. It'll probably go up before mine, but we'll put a link in there anyways. And then yeah, check out their channel. Links will be in the description below, and they have some awesome family videos um, of their life. So yeah, check them out. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like. Subscribe and share with friends. Here in the Emporium, a lot of the rides and attractions exist on wallpapers. I really like it. I think it looks great. Uh, they have many of the coasters, as you guys can see, all around. If I continue to do a turnaround here, it looks like we have some new shirts with new designs. Here's a t-shirt for Cobra's Curse. Haven't seen that one in the past, so do believe it's new. And going down, we have more Cobra's Curse, but we also have Cheetah Hunt. I do believe that's a new shirt as well. And same applies to all of the other shirts. I really like the Kumba one. I think that one looks great. And the Shikra and Falcon's Fury one looks great as well. They did make a few changes around the Emporium uh, store, but they did keep the Cobra's Curse model here on display. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I really do like this model. Looks awesome. And check it out, this must be brand new. I don't think I've ever seen a Cobra's Curse like uh, painting or backdrop here. They have a bunch of Cobra's Curse merchandise here in the Emporium, just in case you don't actually catch it in the Cobra's Curse uh, store. Looks like we have two variations of magnets. You can also pick up a Cobra's Curse drawstring bag and then going all the way up here, Cobra's Curse mugs, toothpick holders, snow globes, photo frames, dinosaurs, I mean, dinosaurs are always cool. Look at all the garland extending over the park entrance. And here is the first photo opportunity right by the park entry area uh, as soon as you walk into the park or maybe when you're walking out of the park you'll be able to see this and of course uh, it's um, one of the most known or one of the most iconic. You essentially stand like where the reef is so you can stand behind it and then get your photo taken and it definitely makes for a great photo. Here's a video over by Guest Relations and it actually shows many of the experiences that one might be able to have here at Busch Gardens Tampa during Christmas Town.
Look at all those families having a great time. Ooh, you can upgrade your, uh, actually, you can upgrade your ticket to a pass. Here is the main entrance at night during Christmas Town. I'll do a zoom in on the Bush Gardens Christmas Town sign. If you do visit Bush Gardens Tampa, you can also purchase a discounted ticket for SeaWorld Orlando so you can experience amazing attractions like Kraken Unleashed. And going down here, you can actually add a day for $45. The same does apply to SeaWorld. If you purchase a ticket over at SeaWorld, you can also buy a discounted ticket for Bush Gardens Tampa. Anyways, I am now officially leaving Bush Gardens, Tampa. Thank you guys for watching. I actually might end the vlog over by the tram. They have a cool like Bush Gardens glass sign. I am now leaving Bush Gardens, Tampa. Had an awesome time today. Really enjoyed Christmas Town and the rest of the park. And I will be coming back in the near future, maybe as early as you know January 1st or January 2nd of 2018. We will see. But yeah, Bush Gardens, Tampa, great park. While the tram is in motion, keeping all body parts.